What's up guys? Welcome back to Watch Years. Uh, I'm Nick. I'm Jared. And tonight we're going to be taking a look at Dogfish Head's latest year-round release, which is this, actually kind of rare because... This they, is the first year-round yeah. they've done in a while. Like, they, they haven't had any new ones in a while. Almost so. like a decade or something like that. I don't but, know if it's been that long, but yeah. It's, it's been long. It's been a few All years right. at least. So this is their 61. This is the 61, yeah. Uh, so this is originally their 60-minute IPA mm -hmm. flagship of Dogfish Head. Um, and I guess when Sam used to go to the brew pub, he would splash a little Syrah must or grape juice, or he would splash Syrah wine in. Um, mm -hmm. And he loved it so much, he wanted to turn it into a year-round beer. So that's what this is. It's a 60-minute IPA with a little bit of Syrah must in there, which must is unfermented grape juice or unfermented wine. And um, this is the beer they came up with. I cool. I mean, pretty basic. Six and six and a half percent. Six and a half percent. Yep. I don't know the IBUs on this. Um, Whatever. Probably similar to sixty minute. Probably exactly what sixty um, minute is. So. But so but, uh, yeah, let's get a look at the appearance. So the appearance. I mean, the head poured. It wasn't a very strong head. No, it's white. Bright, Real white. Yeah, white, white, white. Um, and it is a very cool looking beer because it's kind of on the purplish end. Although holding up to the light, it almost it looks more. Reddish. Yeah, reddish, kind of like cranberry juice color. I agree. Almost like a, a garnet, yeah. a little bit of crimson. Very nice. Very but, nice um, color to it. Very unique color to it for a beer. Yeah, a little bit of lacing, yeah. but like not very dense head. It's not much head at all. So yeah, you want to get smell? Absolutely, man. All right. Wow, it's such an it's such an awesome smell. Of this beer. It's almost like um, it's it's like sugary, sticky, sweet, like almost like a candy, but it does have a lot of like. It does have a lot of wine quality to it. Oh, it's totally. kind of dry. All I'm getting is the wine. It reminds me exactly of Syrah. I um, love the smell of it too. It just really. What surprises it, me is that the hop, the 60 minute, doesn't come across too strong. Like I expect lots of hops to come out. Not, doesn't. Not really the case. Doesn't even smell like a beer, to be honest with you. Like aside from a slightly malt. It reminds me of Syrah all the way. Mm. It's what, got nice bright kind of red berry very notes. Bright, very um, bright. Yep. It smells very refreshing. A um, little bit of earthiness, but mainly, like you said, it's that Syrah. It's not like so, it's not yeah, like a sixty-minute. I'm, I'm getting all this from the wine. Um, a really nice aroma to this beer. I'd say. I get very mild, kind of compliment in the fruit. But I get a little bit of like light, like almost like white pepper. But that's again typical of Syrah. Is a smell that is a smell about it. Just, I can't put in a word. It's very intoxicating. Like, yeah, it's very sweet. Yeah, and approachable. You know. I don't know. I it's really, like everything else. It kind of sucks you in. You're, it, it is definitely a winner as far as flavor. Yeah. yeah. Let's get a taste, man. Sure. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Wow. Again, my biggest surprise is I don't get a, <clears throat> a lot of the 60 minute. Um, I expected a little bit more. Only in the back end. I don't know if they know the ratio on here. I don't the, know what the ratio is. I don't no, know if it's like 50 50. They or don't tell you. 75, 24, what it is, I don't know what it is. So. The best part about this beer for me is the uh, is the initial blast of flavor up front. The end is where I get the bitterness from the 60 minute. Okay. I get that hoppiness, but yeah. uh, the initial blast of flavor up front is where it really uh, uh, shines for me. Middle of the mouth, it's kind of dry, it just yeah. kind of doesn't do much for me. For me, right up front, I get a touch of hops. I get, again, that red berry, red fruit, almost mm -hmm. like um, red currant. Which is to come from the wine. You said it's kind of dry in the middle, nothing too much. It is very dry, um, yeah. Then as it settles out, as it lingers, I get barley. I get a little bit of the beer, which mm -hmm. is cool. Um, I get a touch of bitterness, but not too much bitterness at all. And the finish is nice, nice and sm nice and dry. It's a smooth beer, easy drinking. Yeah. You don't taste the alcohol. Obviously, it's only six and a half percent, but this goes down. This is a really good summer beer, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's a really good summer beer. Very crisp, refreshing. If this is year round, this is gonna sell like, like crazy. Yeah, I get a little bit more bitterness. Yeah. Really, on the sides of the tongue, you get that bitterness. But it that takes like finish. twenty seconds to come in. It really does. Really so it's very, very far in the back. Well known, well, well known, well made beer. I think the carbonation is nice on it. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, nice and crisp. And really cool. Yeah. Better. Refreshing. And very refreshing. So, uh, ratings on this. Rate beer gives us an eighty three. Uh, beer didn't or, sorry, Beer Advocate gave this one 83. Rape Beer actually didn't have a rating on this. Not yeah, Rape beer, so. beer didn't have any ratings. Um, beer Advocate 83. So that's a little low in my opinion. Yeah. I think it's a better beer than that. It's definitely unique. I don't know if it's... What are you thinking then? I don't know because the thing is it's not like you can approach it like, oh, it's another IPA. Yeah. 
It's more no, of, no, I wouldn't call it an IPA. No, I mean, what, what style IPA would you see fall under, you know what I mean? wouldn't, because it's too unique. It's dogfish and they yeah. like to play around. A fruit beer probably is what I would, the closest thing I could categorize it as. I mean, I wouldn't go too hot either, be, just because it's not like, it's not mind-blowing or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I'd say maybe like 85 okay. for me. Cool. I think that's fair. I don't, I don't think it deserves like that's what I was or anything. I, I was going with an 86, mm-hmm. but... I love it. Like you said, it it's a great kind of summer beer. It's a different um, beer. If you never, if you, if you're not into wine, maybe you might be like, yeah. "Oh, what's what's that about?" It's you know? so unique that it brings a whole wealth of new flavors oh. to the palate. So it's cool. This goes for about uh, ten dollars or eleven dollars a four pack. So yep. you can probably get it in singles too if you go to the right place. Yeah. So you can try it out if you guys aren't sure. Definitely. But I highly recommend it. It's going to be around. This is like a, around a, so. a month old right now. It's pretty fresh. It's going to be around for. A the, while, uh, you know, quite some time now. Yeah, definitely. So, so uh, that's for that's it for the sixty one for yeah. Dogfish Head guys. Let us know what you think of this beer, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.